Welcome to This Week in Dinosaurs for the week of April 17th, 2016. J.A. Bayona has been named director of the Jurassic World sequel. Colin Trevorrow and Universal Pictures have confirmed on Twitter that the director for the upcoming sequel to Jurassic World will in fact be Juan Antonio Bayona. Bayona has directed the critical hit The Impossible, set during the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, and the frightening but beautiful film The Orphanage, produced by Guillermo del Toro. His newest film, A Monster Calls, based on the book of the same name, is set to release later this year and stars Liam Neeson, who acted via performance capture and voiceover as the film's monster. It was rumored that Bayona was considered for Jurassic World 2 back in September of last year, but was at the time attached to direct the World War Z sequel. After that fell through, rumors of the Jurassic sequel have been swirling around since. Bayona is known for incredible visual storytelling, with vivid drama, raw horror, and meaningful character moments. All things that will make him a worthy director for a Jurassic movie. In addition, Bayona has experience directing children in leading roles, something not uncommon for the Jurassic Park franchise. Jurassic World 2 is slated to open in June 2018. The script was written once again by Colin Trevorrow and Derek Connolly, who penned the first Jurassic World film, which went on to gross more than $1.6 billion worldwide. A deceptive feather dinosaur finally gets a name. Solving one of the longest cases of mistaken identity, University of Alberta PhD candidate Greg Funston recently described a new genus and species of toothless dinosaur from Alberta. Long thought to be a more common ornithomimid, Apodoraptor pinnatus, instead turned out to be a member of the notoriously enigmatic Canagnothid family and a close relative of Oviraptor. The mostly complete skeleton was found in 1993, but because it was believed to be a more common ornithomimid, it sat on a shelf at the Royal Tyrell Museum for 15 years before it was correctly identified. The mistaken identity laid the foundation for its name, meaning deceptive thief. The Apodoraptor fossil is the first articulated Canagnothid skeleton from anywhere in the world, meaning the bones are still in the same position as when the animal died. With such a beautifully preserved fossil, the scientists were able to use CT scanning technology to fully examine the bones. They were surprised to find pits on an arm bone corresponding with feather scars. These feather scars suggest that a potoraptor had a wing of feathers on its arms, although it couldn't have used the wings to fly, says Funston. Instead, he explains, the wings were likely used for sexual display to attract mates. Oviraptorosaurus, the bigger group to which Apodoraptor and other Canagnothids belong, were probably some of the flashiest dinosaurs, with head crests, tail feathers, and now arm feathers that they would display to their mates. To stay up to date on dinosaur news, visit dinosaurstop.com. That's all for this week. And until next time, Rawr!